Hey, what's up, guys? This is Eek, and today I want to talk about uh, song structure and how you can um, just kind of build around this uh, basic idea uh, that I have going on that I was kind of taught before, and I read a couple like articles and stuff. It's really not complicated or anything. Um, but yeah, it's basically, uh, I guess I got five parts here, but there's like Structure, song structure can literally just be anything you want it to be. Um, you can just literally start with a drop or start with like an intro, like a normal person, or start, it's just whatever. It's whatever you're, what you, what you want to accomplish, I guess, or what you want to achieve. So, yeah, let's get into it. Intro, I usually uh, have basic stuff going on, or um, I guess we'll take, make pretend this is a progressive house thing, uh, like the four kicks to the floor four kicks to the floor so i'll start with like just the kick going at first i would do this for i have it about 30 seconds or 16 bars yeah i would have so the intro can either be um chords or um drums but nothing really too complicated uh just you want to like warm up the listeners ear i guess to what's going on and then Every uh, four bars or so, or not even four, maybe eight. Or I guess it depends, whatever you want to do. Uh, but have different things building in uh, as you go, um, depending on what you want to accomplish. Um, just to keep it more interesting, like add like a hi hat loop going on, and maybe some like different percussion, and maybe add some like bass right here. Um, like simple bass, like just one note going doom, 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 or something like that. Um, just really simple stuff, just warming up uh, the listener and getting us into maybe like the main idea. And the main idea, or the break part of the song, is yeah, the main idea, the main progression. I guess I'll go ahead and use that, like uh, let's say pianos or chords or the main feeling of the song um, without any drums or without any too much intensity you're just kind of saying hey this is my th thought for this song um, this is my feeling for the song how do you feel about it once again adding more elements after this part and we're in like a m about a minute uh, but you can make this shorter or longer uh, depending on what you want to do it's all it, all there's no rules it's literally what you want to do and then we have the breakdown which is uh, literally just uh, things are starting to get more intense and maybe the drums are starting to come back and it's everything's building it's like risers and stuff um, I have this for around 15 seconds but I if you want like a more intense rise uh, or breakdown uh, probably 30 another 30 seconds so this is 30 this is 30 this is 15 but whatever you want to do and you're adding more things. You're taking out the bass maybe uh, for the breakdown. And it's just like percussion is like getting faster, like a snare going like going crazy. Um, and like things are rising and taking out the bass. So when the drop A hits, it's more impactful. Drop A is like the climax of the song. It's literally the most important part of the song. It's what everything revolves around. It's the hook. It's the it's the cool part of the song that everyone's like, yeah, dancing, having a good time. It's the most energy. It's the most fun. Now, to keep it more interesting, you can have a drop B, which is literally just drop A, but just rearranged a little bit differently, or new things are added, or new ideas added. Maybe something that you had going on in the intro or break is like implemented into the drop B. It's just whatever you want to do. It's whatever, however your song is. And it, depending on what is going on in the song, you can also just structure, that's how you structure the thing. But this is like the basic uh, idea. Um, but yeah, when you're making the song, come up with the main idea first, the, br uh, the break, um, and then have the intro just complement or warm up to the main idea. And then the main, the drop A is just the main idea, but more intense. And the drop B is just a different version of the main idea. 
and breakdowns just rising things to, to make you feel hyped i don't know it depends it all depends um I, that's why i didn't want to really do this video because it's like literally do what you want there's no rules but if you needed a guideline i guess this is a good way to do it intro break breakdown drop a drop b and then when you want to repeat so at the end of drop b it's uh, about two minutes 15 seconds we're at 128 bpm so at the end of drop b you want to go back to cooling down because uh, it was really intense for like a minute and you want to go back to letting the, the people dancing in the club uh, relax so you want to go to the I want to say uh, a more intense version I don't have this laid out obviously a more intense version of the intro like the drums are harder but it's like it's still it's not you don't hear the progression of the song it's just like something to like um, transition into the main idea again um, and you're just basically repeating this but doing different stuff because you want to keep it interesting I missed a couple of things but it's basically intro break breakdown drop a drop B and then repeat but adding different things depending on what you want to do or you can just literally re copy and paste the same thing over again that'll be boring um you just want to make uh, the listener have a good time and yeah just keep keep in mind of like what how your listener is going to react to what's going on but yeah if y'all like this video let me know subscribe if you haven't already and you have a nice day thanks and love you and i'll try not to ruin this outro again Bye. <laughs>